So today is Luton Town versus Cardiff City at Kenilworth Road. The game kicks off tonight at quarter past eight in the evening. It is seventh versus fifteenth. You know, Cardiff have only lost one game and they've drew two and won two in their last six. The last uh, game they played, I believe they beat Coventry 3-1. So we're facing a very, very strong Cardiff team tonight. Of course, we won away. <clears throat> so <laughs> that brings back good stuff. Now, this could be one of the tough games. And maybe... A possibility of Elijah Adebayo coming in as a sub. Of course, we've got Stoke after which Tomins can't play for against. So, being that is his parent club, he can't actually do anything for the game against Stoke. But maybe he can play tonight. Maybe Adebayo can play tonight. We need to get him in somehow. Dan Potts is on about scoring goals. But I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to do part two any moment. So, going into this game again, we've had some good results. Okay, um, some draws, but we won the last game, which is good. By one goal, Dan Potts. Potsy, Potsy, getting back into it again. <sighs> Cardiff at home is going to be one of those games. It could be anything that can happen. But... Slug has been a tank in goal. The defence has been hurt, uh, been good. So hopefully we can keep that going at home. Yes, we did eventually lose at home. But we are wanting to get that home record going again. Potts wants to score goals back at left back. Carlos Colo wants to get in a bit more as well. Of course, he was a goal scorer. I'm just going to clean my screen because there's something on it. <clears throat> yeah, Colo scored. He wants to score more goals now. We need to start seeing Harry Cornick perform. Uh, George Bunker maybe needs to come on. <sighs> Dewsbury Hall needs to stay until the end of the season, which he is anyway. So hopefully we can get a good result from this game. I reckon the team lineup today will be the same as before. Maybe a couple of changes, you never know. Nathan Jones likes to change it up a tiny bit. But Sluger will stay in goal. Potts will be left back. Sonny Bradley will be centre back. Tom Luckier will be the other centre back partner ship. Uh, Matty Pearson will go right back. We'll have, have Glenn Ray in the centre defensive mid roll. Penny Rote Mpanzu, rather, I think he'll be on the right. Uh, Keenan Dewsbury Hall, left centre mid. Now this one, where it could go. It could be Luke Berry in the middle. <clears throat> it could be Jordan Clark. Uh, yeah, it could be one of those two. So I'm reckon it will be one of those two in the middle or on the wing. I say we should could have had Reese Lawrence Davies, but of course he's gone to uh, Stoke. Hopefully we can shut him up when he comes to Stoke because that was annoying. But of course, because Stoke had the money, uh, Reese Lodge Davis was sent back to Sheffield United, and then immediately loaned back out to the Champions side of Stoke City, which did hurt a tiny bit. But hey ho, life goes on. Football's football. But yeah, it will probably end up being James Collins and Harry Cornick there as well. Cornet will be playing on the right again and Colo will probably be playing down the middle. Hopefully, we get to see the likes of Danny Hill on a Adebayo. Um, maybe even Monka if he's not injured. Barry, if he doesn't play at the start, maybe we'll see him as well. <clears throat> maybe even Kazenga Lawa Lawa. I'm hoping to see something. Maybe even Martin Craney if Matty Pearson uh, decides to have a little knock or something. But yeah, I'm hoping we can uh, get a good result against Cardiff City tonight. That's at 8.15 tonight. But as of now, thank you for watching this video. 
Remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the notification bell, and peace out. I'll do a review tomorrow or tonight.